another brick fan with an architecture skyline view. This is Las Vegas, Nevada. This is set 21047 and was released in September 2018, has 501 pieces, no minifigures, and cost about $40 when it was released. The skyline includes Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign, the Bellagio Hotel, Luxor Las Vegas, Encore at the Wynn, Stratosphere Las Vegas, and the Fremont Street Experience. This is a replacement set for set 21038, which included the Mandalay Bay Hotel instead of the Bellagio Hotel. The set had some production delays and then there was a shooting incident at the Mandalay Bay. So Lego decided to not release the set and substituted the Mandalay Bay for the Bellagio. Apparently some of these sets were actually released in South Africa before the recall. There is a review that was done by Brick Architect that shows the differences between the two sets. I've left a link in the description. Let's take a look at the widely available set, which is this one, 21047. As you can see on the far left, it starts with the fabulous Las Vegas sign. That's the welcome sign that you see at the edge of the strip, very famous in Las Vegas. I really appreciate how they did the printing on the clear tile to give it that nice Las Vegas look. Next to that is one of my favorite hotels on the Las Vegas Strip, the Bellagio. It's just a very high-end property. The beautiful exterior is done. There's some great shops. There's good artwork always on display there and some very good restaurants. And then who can forget the wonderful fountain show that goes off at least every hour there on the Strip. And everybody can watch that set to different music. They're constantly changing it. It's a really great show. And I like the inclusion of this. The building technique for the Bellagio is also done very interestingly with a bunch of stud on the side construction to create the wings of the hotel you see there. And then those are clipped in to the central structure of the hotel, making for a really nice looking representation of the Bellagio. In the middle, we see the Luxor Tower, which is the pyramid. I like how they resurrected, no pun intended, the Sphinx piece there from some of the adventure sets. I like it's done in this nice pearl gold to represent the Sphinx that is out in front of the Luxor Hotel, which looks very nice. The Encore is a really good representation of what that looks like. It is much brighter in person. They use a lot of reflective glass in kind of a coppery color but a very distinctive looking building and I think they capture the look pretty well here. The tower for the stratosphere looks really good. This is a off the strip hotel, just slightly off the strip or at the very end of the strip if I remember correctly. It has a bunch of amusement rides on the top so you can actually jump from the top of the stratosphere on a bungee cord. There's a couple of amusement park rides that go out over the edge of the roof itself. It's way high. It's a very tall tower there in the Las Vegas area. So it's a nice inclusion with this set. And I think it looks really well made here in, uh, in this set done with very few pieces, but it really captures the look of the tower itself. And then on the very end is the Fremont Street experience. Fremont Street is kind of the original Las Vegas area. They've kind of improved it a lot or made it more modern by covering a major part of the street. They have light shows and stuff in the covered area, which is represented here by the trans red and yellow bricks or plates there. There's also a zip line that goes down the Fremont Street, which all is a, a really nice attraction. Quick look at the back side. As you can see, there definitely is a camera from the angle as there is with all of these. But you get a nice look at how the Bellagio is constructed. You see there are some, you can see how they use these rod pieces that are connected into, that are connected into the tiles that make up the base of the skyline. 
and then the Bellagio wings there are clipped in to those rods, which make for a nice look. Interesting how they use this flower piece in the light blue to represent the highest point of the Bellagio, just to give it a little more texturing. I think this is a great representation of the Las Vegas Strip. The buildings are all definitely recognizable. There are, of course, many more on the Strip that would be interesting to see, like Treasure Island, Caesar's Palace, the Paris, and even the Venetian. So I think it'd be really fun to make another Las Vegas Strip model. But for now, this one looks really good. I would have really liked to have gotten 21038. The Mandalay Bay is a great iconic hotel in Las Vegas. It makes sense to me because of the tragedy that Lego didn't want to include that with the model, but it is a really nice looking hotel and I think it would have fit, and I think it fit really great with the rest of the Las Vegas skyline on the original. I'm not disappointed with this one. I do like this one a lot. And like I said, there's enough iconic buildings along the strip that you could make another one of these and it would look just as good. Hope you enjoyed my thoughts on this Skyline set. I'm gonna get started on another video. Until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more of my content. Take a look at my other architectural reviews in my architectural review playlist.